Hello children, hope you are fine. I am Vijay Lakshmi ma'am. Today let us start chapter 2. Day 2, subject English, topic the old rabbit. Children, do you like playing with toys? Yes, of course I know. Your answer will be yes. Do you all have a good collection of toys? If so, I think most of you have old toys at home. Even though you buy a new toy, your love for your old toy will be more. But children, when you lose it, how do you feel? I know you'll feel very sad. In the same way, here in this story, let's see who is very fond of old toys. Children, this image is relating to the lesson, the old rabbit. So, you should know what a fair is. F-A-I-R, fair. Observe the picture, children. A fair is a large round where there are many rides, games and small shops. Observe in the picture. I think most of you have visited the fair. Children, let's start the lesson, The Old Rabbit. Lesson 2, The Old Rabbit, written by Elena Watts. Follow the text. Lesson reading, Amit had a toy rabbit. It was old and dirty, but Amit loved it. Amit's mother did not like Amit's toy rabbit. Throw it away. I'll buy you a new toy, she said. I don't want a new toy, said Amit. I love my rabbit. One day, Amit's parents took Amit and his sister Jyoti to a fair. Amit took his rabbit with him. They all got on a bus. Soon they were at the fair. There were a lot of rides and shops at the fair. There were many toys and things to eat too. Amit and Jyoti were very happy. Amit, Jyoti and their parents got on the giant wheel First, children, before explanation, let's know the meanings. Fair, a large crown where there are many rides, games and small shops. Observe the picture of a giant wheel. Now explanation, here is a story of a small boy. His name is Amit. He had a toy rabbit. Children, you know how was the toy rabbit? It was old and dirty. Amit's mother did not like his toy rabbit. She told him to throw it away. She even promised to buy a new toy for him. Did Amit agree to throw the toy? No, he did not agree. He told his mother that he loves his toy rabbit and he will not throw it. In this story, Amit has a sister and her name is Jyoti. Amit's sister's name is Jyoti. One day, Amit's parents took Amit and Jyoti to a fair. Amit even carried his toy rabbit with him. They all went by bus. How did they go? They all went by bus to the fair. Children, have you visited the fair? How was the fair? There were a lot of rides and even many things to eat too. The children enjoyed the most at the fair. They enjoyed Amit, Jyoti and her parents 
got on to the Jane tree at first. You can observe them in the picture. Amit's parents, Amit and Jyoti, they are on the Jane tree. Observe in the picture. Now, till now, you have come to know that Amit loved his toy rabbit. He has a small sister by name Jyoti. Amit's parents, Jyoti, they all went to the fair. They had a lot of fun there. And they first sat on the giant wheel. So children, let's recall. What did Amit's mother want him to do with his toy rabbit? She wanted him to throw it away. Why? You know. Because it was old and dirty. When things are old. When you, you don't keep old things at home. When it is old, what do we do? We throw it away. But Amit did not agree because he loved his old toy rabbit. Children, how did the family go to the fair? They went to the fair by bus. Then what did Amit's family do first at the fair? They got on to the chain tree. You can see in the picture Amit's parents, Amit, and Jyoti, they all got onto the giant wheel. You can observe when I read the lesson, I think you have observed it. Amit, Jyoti, first letter is written in capital letter. Always we write names in capital. Even you, your name, your parents name, your sister's name, you have to write first letter in capital because it is a Proper noun. Let's see what happens at the fair. We'll continue in the next page. Children, let's continue. Soon they were high up in the air. They had a lot of fun. Amit hugged his rabbit tightly. He was rather afraid. I'm glad. I've got my rabbit with me, he thought. Next, they went for a camel ride. It was rather bumpy. Hold on tight, said his father. Suddenly, Amit found that his rabbit was not there. He was very sad and began to cry. Where is my rabbit? cried Amit. Let me get off. I must look for my rabbit. Amit, Jyoti and their parents Look for Amit's toy rabbit everywhere. But they did not find it anywhere. Let me buy you a toy dog. It's cleaner and bigger than your rabbit, said Amit's mother. So they bought the toy dog. But Amit was not happy. Suddenly, Jyoti saw a little girl. She was holding Amit's toy rabbit. That's my brother's rabbit, said Jyoti to the girl. Please give it to him. I found it. It's mine now, said the girl. I'll give you this new toy dog, said Amit. The little girl thought about it for a while. All right, she said at last. Amit's mother was rather cross. The dog was much cleaner than the rabbit, she said. But Amit was very happy to get his old rabbit back and never lost it again. Children, let's know the meanings. Hugged, put his arms around the toy rabbit and held it tightly to his chest. Rather, a little bumpy going up and down while moving forward. Mine, something that belongs to me. For a while, for a little time. Cross, angry. Now, explanation. Children, when Amit's family got onto the giant wheel, soon they were high up in the air. They had lot of fun. Amit hugged his toy rabbit 
tightly. You have come to know the meaning of hugged means he hold it very tightly close to his chest. They had lot of fun there. Amit was little afraid when he went up high in the air. But he was very happy. Why? Because he had his old toy rabbit with him. When he went up high in the air on the giant wheel. Later they got down from the giant wheel. Next they went for a camel ride. His father told him, Amit, hold your toy rabbit tightly. As it, as it was very bumpy. As the ride was very bumpy. What's the meaning of bumpy? Going up and down while moving forward. Suddenly, Amit found that his rabbit was not to be seen. He was very sad and cried bitterly. So, immediately he got down and started crying bitterly. So, what did Amit's parents and sister do? They looked for his toy rabbit everywhere in the fair. Children, but Amit was still crying bitterly as he was very sad. He could not find his old toy rabbit. He was very fond of his toy rabbit. So Amit's mother took him to a shop. You can observe in the picture. She bought him a new toy dog to make him happy. She bought him a new toy dog. How was the new toy dog? The new toy dog was bigger and cleaner because it was very new. But was Amit happy with the new toy? Children, no. He was still thinking of his old toy rabbit. He was still very sad. He was looking very sad. Suddenly, you know what happened? Observe in the picture. Jyoti found a little girl holding Amit's toy rabbit. A little girl, you can observe the little girl in the picture with the toy rabbit. Jyoti immediately went to the little girl and asked her to give it back. The girl did not agree. She said, I've got this toy and it is mine now. I'll not give it. It's mine. This old rabbit toy is mine. I'll not give it. Amit told the little girl that he will give his new toy dog. Now the little girl thought for some time and then she agreed to give back the old toy rabbit to Amit because she'll get a new toy dog. On hearing this, Amit's mother was angry. But children, Amit was overjoyed. He was too happy because he got back his old toy rabbit. The girl gave him the old toy rabbit. He went back home happily with his parents and he kept his old toy carefully after that. They all went home. He kept the toy carefully at home. So you know, you know, you know now in the story how Amit lost his toy rabbit and how he got it back. Isn't it? His love for his old toy was too much. Now let's revise. Children, who found Amit's rabbit? Jyoti found Amit's rabbit. Why was Amit happy? Amit was happy because he got his toy rabbit back. I think you have enjoyed this story of the old rabbit. Here ends the lesson, the old rabbit. Children, in grammar, you have a new concept, possessive nouns. P-O-S-S-E-S-S-I-V-E. -S -S -E. You pronounce it as possessive. N O U N S possessive nouns. Children, you can observe apostrophe S, yes, man's hat. 
there is an apostrophe yes after a noun why they are using apostrophe yes after a name even second picture ginger's hoop ginger is the name of the man in the picture there is apostrophe yes after ginger here bear after the bear after yes there is an apostrophe because there are two bears here birds beak only one bird after bird there is apostrophe yes children after a noun after a name of a person or an animal or a bird they have used apostrophe why they have used apostrophe yes to show that something belongs to someone the thing belongs to someone here man's hat so observe in the picture the man man's hat the meaning here is the hat belongs to the man the hat belongs to the man ginger's hoop the hoop you can see in the picture hoop belongs to ginger so it is ginger's hoop we are writing in short form short form instead of writing the hoop belongs to ginger we are writing ginger's hoop third picture bears ears there are two bears so apostrophe yes after yes there is an apostrophe not before you can observe the apostrophe is after yes so the ears of the bears the ears of the bears last picture birds beak the beak of the bird so you know the use of apostrophe yes after a noun we are using apostrophe yes after a noun to show that something belongs to someone children here are few more examples of possessive nouns you already know what is a possessive nouns few more examples observe the first picture the boy kite you are familiar with the apostrophe s yes now boy is a noun after boy there is an apostrophe s yes. the girls balloon after girl apostrophe s yes. the girls balloon my child's dog the man's work the mouse's cage a person's clothes here you can observe a girl saying that this is joey's pencil pencil belongs to joey joey is the name of a boy to show that something belongs to someone we use apostrophe yes she is saying this is joey's pencil this is joey's pencil means pencil belongs to joey the girl's balloon the balloons belong to the girl in the picture you can observe the balloon belongs to the girl the kite belongs to the boy observe the picture the boy's kite the girl's balloon so in the same way my child's dog the man's work the mouse's cage a person's clothes a few more examples of possessive nouns the dog belongs to the child the work is done by the man the cage of the mouse the clothes of a person so now you are familiar with possessive nouns that is possessive nouns means after a name child is a noun man is a noun common noun these are all common noun observe the first letter is written in small letter mouse person boy girl the first letter is small these are all nouns after the nouns we are adding apostrophe yes after a noun when there is apostrophe yes it is possessive nouns why we use apostrophe s yes? to show that something belongs to 
someone. See here is a definition of possessive noun. A possessive noun shows who or what has something. Like the boy has a kite. Apostrophe S yes will show the boy is having a kite. Girls balloons. Apostrophe will show the girl is having a balloon. Joey's pencil. See the pencil there. Pencil belongs to Joey. So these are all possessive nouns. Children, I think you have understood the concept of possessive nouns. I'll be giving few exercise relating to possessive nouns where you'll become more familiar with possessive nouns. Children, thank you for watching this. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson, The Old Rabbit.